you. Well, before tonight's arrival, the big news we brought you on KXAN News here at 6 o'clock, the meeting in Dallas between Governor Rick Perry and the President. Mr. Obama had been criticized for not going to the U.S.-Mexico border personally. He said his cabinet members had visited extensively and reported directly to him about the situation. He also accused Congress of using this humanitarian crisis to play politics. This isn't theater. This is a problem. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, uh, photo ops. I'm interested in solving a problem. The president put forward a $3.7 billion plan yesterday to manage the crisis. The president said there is nothing that Governor Perry indicated he'd like to see that he had any philosophical objections to. The problem here is not a, a major disagreement around the actions that could be helpful in dealing with the problem. The challenge is, is Congress prepared to act to put the resources in place to get this done. During the president's statement at Dallas Love Field today, Governor Perry's official Twitter account tweeted out this message. This is not a GOP or Democratic problem. This is a challenge for all Americans. It's time to secure the border. And after the meeting, Governor Perry sent out a news release explaining what he wants President Obama to do next. The requests include a presidential visit to the Texas-Mexico border, deploying an additional 1,000 National Guard troops, and allowing predator drones along the border to track human and drug trafficking, and finally, medically screening all immigrants who enter the country illegally. Governor Perry says that is needed to ensure their health and the health of U.S. citizens. So the president effectively called on lawmakers to do something. How do our two Texas senators feel about the emergency border money and the president's comments? Uh, the supplemental request that he has submitted, $3.7 billion, the majority of that goes to HHS and social services providing care to this kids to these kids rather than stopping and solving the problem Senator John Cornyn issued a statement today following the president's comments in Dallas. He says, Texans do not need a lecture from a man who refuses to even see the crisis firsthand. President Obama can fundraise and issue statements. Texans will work to solve the problem. NBC Steve Handelsman has more reaction from Washington and Central America. Laredo, Texas is swamped by Central American kids and moms. What to do has the nation divided? League City, Texas voted not to house detainees. Some there protested that. In Central America, racked by crime and poverty, the Obama Secretary of Homeland Security warned the kids who come to the U.S. cannot stay. They must be returned home. In fact, many are staying for months, some freed into U.S. communities. Back in Washington, Republicans charge that's sending the wrong message. They're getting an impression in their countries that once they get here, they can stay. President Obama wants $1.8 billion to better house the new immigrants, just $1.6 billion to try to keep them out. Focus more on that, said Republican leaders. If we don't secure the border, uh, nothing's going to change. No let up in the human surge or the political impasse. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Capitol Hill.